What's going on guys? How's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to trick your iPhone out. Here's a beginner's guide to Nugget on Windows. With Nugget, you can do some seriously awesome stuff and trick your iPhone out. It even works on iOS 26 beta. Get the new liquid glass design and still use all of your favorite poster board customizations. The incredible dynamic wallpapers you can get look even better with today's sponsor, ESR. I'll tell you more about them in a little bit. Let's talk about device requirements in order to use this. You'll need an iPhone or an iOS device on at least iOS 17.0 or later. You'll also need a computer for now as Nugget needs a computer for most of these features for now. There's now also a way to get the incredible wallpapers you see on device without a computer. More on that a little bit later. You can use Mac, Windows, and Linux, and the process is fairly similar on whatever OS you're using. Today, I'm going to use Windows for this guide. If you have a Mac, go check out the previous video I did where I show how to do it on Mac. The process is very similar on Mac OS, but it's just a little bit different. With that being said, since we're doing this on a Windows computer, we'll need to download the Apple Devices app. On your Windows computer, open the Microsoft Store and search for Apple Devices. From there, click Get and it'll download. After that's done, go download Nugget for your Windows computer from the link down below in the description. Back on your iPhone, make sure Find My iPhone is turned off in settings. Don't worry, you can turn it back on after this process. Connecting the device. After you plug your device into your computer, you may need to trust it and click on the reload button in Nugget in order for the device to be recognized. If your computer doesn't recognize your device properly, it could be a number of different things. USB drivers may not be installed correctly, or it may just be a bad phone cable. Make sure the cable is properly plugged in, or try a different cable. Sometimes it is the cable you're using, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, here's how to set Nugget up. Go to where Nugget downloaded and extract it. You'll need to do this in order for it to work properly. Once the Nugget program file is extracted, we can double click to open it and it'll run as normal. So just go through this process. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes. All right, here we go. So go ahead and double click on it to open it. And if you get this pop-up, click more info and then click run anyway. A terminal window will pop up and it should say starting Nugget. This is normal. Nugget should pop up after that and then you can go ahead and plug in your device. When applying customizations to your device, do not unplug it while it's applying. You will boot loop your device if you don't let Nugget do its thing. With that being said, there's a ton of awesome stuff you can do here, so let's get started. Poster board, the coolest wallpaper feature since sliced bread. It works on the latest iOS version and the latest iPhone. And yes, that even includes iOS 26 beta. In iOS 26, Apple added an astonishing 3D wallpaper feature that has depth when you move your device. But there's even more cool wallpapers you can get and it's super easy. The first thing in the menu bar is the poster board section. If we click on discover wallpapers, that will bring you to a page where you can see a curated list of some of the awesome wallpapers that are currently available. This list is constantly changing as more developers and designers create more wallpapers. There's also a Discord server you can join and I'll throw that in the description and that has a bunch of wallpapers as well. In the poster board settings, there's also a video option as well where you can make any video your wallpaper. Select all of the .tendies wallpapers that you downloaded and then once you do that, you'll be ready to go. Then once you're ready, click the apply changes button. and now the device will reboot and do its magic in the background. We're greeted by the hello screen. We may need to go through parts of the setup process, but then after that, now we can go and try to add a new wallpaper. And once we do that, you can see in the collections section, the wallpapers that we just added are right there. These are wallpapers that are animated. They move and dynamically change depending on whether you unlock the device, and that's super cool. And if you have always on display on, it changes as well. And while these might look awesome on video, make sure to try this out yourself because you'll see the hype. 
the incredible dynamic wallpapers you can get look even better with today's sponsor, ESR. ESR is the number one MagSafe accessory brand that offers high quality MagSafe cases, chargers, and much more. The iPhone 16 Halo Lock case has a nice convenient kickstand that flips out near the cameras. This way you can prop up your phone and watch YouTube or Netflix. This case feels premium and sturdy and that's thanks to ESR's military grade protection. The camera control button also works through the case as well. Pair the case with a MagSafe accessory and it's got a super clean look. This wallet lets you hold a bunch of different cards and it also flips out to be a stand too. ESR's Geo Wallet is also Find My compatible as well, so if you lose it, you can find it. ESR also has other MagSafe accessories available, such as a MagSafe power bank, and it just attaches to the back of your phone like so, and it's super convenient if you need a quick charge. I even used it on my phone while recording this ad spot. If you want to pick up a MagSafe case or an accessory for your iPhone, you can get 25% off your purchase with the discount code at checkout. Special thanks to ESR for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. Incredible wallpapers on the go without a computer. With this app, you can get the incredible dynamic wallpapers you've seen without a computer. Okay, technically you'll need your computer one time to go into the Nugget desktop app and then click one button and you're good to go. Go into the app settings on your device and tap detect. And there you go, it should auto fill the app hash. You also may need your computer as well to do the initial sideloading process for the app, but after you set all of that up, you're good to go. Then go to the Nugget Wallpapers website and find some wallpapers you want and select open in pocket poster. Then apply it and it'll do its thing. Then once it opens the poster board app, just make sure to force quit out of it in the app switcher. And now just go add a new wallpaper and here under collections, here's the new wallpaper that we just added. It's that easy. Pocket poster now has a built-in video option. You can now make your own video wallpapers on device. Here's how to do it. Open the app and go to the video tab. Tap to make a new wallpaper and select a video. By default, only videos with a certain duration and certain file size will work, so in the app settings, make sure disable video duration limit is off. This will let you select slightly longer videos, but results may vary. When you're ready, go back to the home tab and just tap apply. Then it'll generate all of the frames of the videos. And once that's done, it'll open the poster board app, just like Tendi's files. We go ahead and swipe up to close out of it. And now if we go back to collections, swiping over once it refreshes, you'll see the video wallpapers we just created will pop up right there. Obviously, I just picked some random videos to showcase this feature, but if you have some videos in mind that you really want to turn into wallpapers, they will look really good. Both Nugget and Pocket Poster receive regular updates, so there's always some cool new things to check out. So yes, there's definitely more new features that are coming up at some point in the future. This is great because this allows you to use one of the best features of Nugget without constantly having access to a computer. When this app expires every seven days, if you have a free developer account though, you will need to go back and re-sideload it. However, this is great. And of course, like I said before, it does work on iOS 26 beta. If you already know about Nugget or you've seen my previous videos, this may not be news to you, but these wallpapers are nothing short of incredible. Developers and designers just keep getting more and more creative and it's really cool to see. Templates. Developers can also create templates for wallpapers as well. These are .batter files and these are better for the user since the user can customize specific options for the wallpaper. In this one, for example, I have more control over which versions of the wallpaper I want. You can see in this collection, there's winter, fall, spring, and summer, all of the seasons here. When you're ready, just click the apply changes button and then it will apply the changes and respring your device. Once the device comes back up, if you try to add a new wallpaper and scroll all the way to collections, you should now see the template files start to appear. And that one seems to work pretty well. Templates are a relatively new thing, so not all of them work properly. You may still see some glitches or it may not work at all. As time goes on and developers get a chance to update them, they'll work a little bit better. 
This one that I'm applying here, for example, will give you a spatial photo-like effect and it lets me customize the image. No matter what I tried for whatever reason, it would not show up on the device and it actually broke poster board a couple of times. Now, I'm not sure what's going on here, but it just was not working. Eventually though, after trying a few different combinations and a few different template files, I did get it to work. I did unfortunately have mixed results with the spatial template and the layers template, so if you can't get that to work, that's not just you. I think the results here are really cool. In the future, the on-device method should support templates as well. Status bar. The status bar option allows you to customize parts of your status bar. I can change the carrier text, so instead of it saying Verizon or AT&T or T-Mobile or whatever, I can fully customize it and have it say Apple Attack. Again, there's a bunch of other options in here for you to customize. Once you type what you want to change it to, just go and click apply. It'll restart the device. Now going to our control center, you can see the carrier name is Apple Attack. That's pretty cool. Depending on what iOS version you're on, you may be able to do just a little bit more with Nugget. This device is on iOS 17.0. Mobile gift stall. If you're on iOS 18.1.x and below, when connecting your device, an option called mobile gift stall will appear inside of Nugget. This can enable things like always on display and dynamic island on older unsupported devices. And also, of course, before anyone asks, Mobile Gift Stall does not work on iOS 18.2 and up, it was patched. So enabling things like Always On Display and Dynamic Island is no longer possible on newer iOS versions as of right now. If you're on a compatible iOS version, check out the original video I made about Nugget where I go into more detail about Mobile Gift Stall. I also show you how to save the Mobile Gift Stall file, which you'll need to use every time you want to customize something in Mobile Gift Stall. Miscellaneous. There's a bunch of options to customize your device even further. In the springboard section, you have some pretty cool things like being able to customize the lock screen footnote text. After you type what you want it to say and apply the changes, you'll see when your device comes back, there it is. This doesn't replace the swipe up text, rather it actually adds a second text to the lock screen, so this is actually pretty interesting. Either way, I think this is pretty cool. There's an option to customize some internal settings here, but I really wouldn't recommend messing around with much of this unless you're an advanced user and you know what any of this is. The daemons feature here for regular users doesn't really do all that much. It lets you disable things and turn functions on and off. However, the disable OTA option could be useful because that will disable OTA updates on your device. There's also a couple of extra features in the settings here like enabling supervision, which is what's required when delay OTAing your device, and allow applying over Wi-Fi and other things as well. Clearing collections and removing all tweaks. If you want to get access to new wallpapers or completely uninstall all of the wallpapers you downloaded, go into the poster board section inside of Nugget and make sure under clear action you have collections selected. Then click apply changes and the device will restart. When the device restarts you may still see your custom wallpapers. This is by design because what it's doing is clearing out the wallpaper collection section and not actually clearing out the custom wallpapers that you added. This way by repeating the step you can install as many custom wallpapers as you want. So how do you delete these wallpapers? Well, all you have to do is just make sure that the wallpaper that you don't want is deleted in the carousel of the wallpapers that you have. And it's pretty easy to do that. Just swipe up on the wallpaper you don't want and tap the trash icon. You can also reset and clear collections on device as well. In the pocket poster app, just tap clear collections and then tap okay. From there, the app should now automatically reset your collection section to default. And once it refreshes, you can see the collection section is now back to how it was before we use Nugget. In case that doesn't work for whatever reason, here's how to do it manually. Open the language settings on your device by going to Settings, General, and Language and Region. From there, set a different language as the primary language on your device. It doesn't matter what language, just make sure it's different. 
Then once you do that, it will restart your device with the changes. Now go try to add a new wallpaper and scroll all the way down to where collections would be. And now it should just be whatever the default collections was for your device. And now you should just be able to set the language back to normal. If you wanna get rid of any other tweaks that Nugget added, all you have to do is just go back to Nugget desktop and make sure that you press the remove all tweaks button. Once the device restarts, you should see all of Nugget's changes have been reverted. The ability to reset individual pages instead of removing all of them at once will also be possible in a future update of Nugget. Anyway guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. That is a beginner's guide to Nugget. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace.